Is anyone going to snatch Pep's chain this season? It's a very, very valid question. And, I'm, and, and, and I'll say it again. Is anybody going to step up and snatch this guy's chain this season? I'll reiterate what I've been said. This is going to be a very common thing. And I've said this on many avenues. I've said this on UFF, on Hope Meets Panther. I'll say it again. If Man City win this Premier League by 15 or more points, I never want to hear about the Premier League again, and I will advocate for the Premier League to be disbanded for at least one year. You've been warned. Do not let Man City disgrace this again. Now, let's just be real with Wolves. You know, um, just, just look, looking back at the highlights of Wolves' last few of your games, they've been unlucky. They have been unlucky, although... To be given the fortune of playing against 10 men, especially in that first game at home, you should win. So really, Wolves should be coming into this with at least 3-3 three, three points because they should have beaten Everton in that game when they were down to 10 men. I mean, they, they should have won that game. And even Leicester City as well, but especially with Everton, they should have... And also remember, they conceded when Everton had had, had, had 10 men. But look at that, the boy Ruben Neves. A lot of things has been said about this guy. And look, man, the guy is on a, is on a G and an A. He's got a G and an A so far. And the guy's um, right foot is a thing of beauty. His, his right foot is a thing of beauty. And for me, I just think that there's a mind, there is a setup there for Wolves to cause City issues. You know, City, they have a plan A. They don't have a plan B, they have a plan C. They have a particular way of playing and they don't give a damn about the opposition. They just focus on what they want to do. So the thing for Wolves, Wolves must know that they will have to have the possession of the ball. You must know when to press because if you press too high, you press at the wrong time, they will pass the living daylights out of that ass and they'll beat your ass. Simple as that. They'll beat your ass. But I think Wolves know that when they have to, they have to use, use the possession well, the ball has to be moved quickly. It has got to be, be moved high, quick, fast, dynamically. People have to break quickly, have to make the, the, the right runs immediately so that the options are there and then they have to make use of of City's Highland and how City are desperate to win the ball back. Because how you beat City is by attacking quickly. You will not beat City if you play a calm game, a passive game, you second guess, you have too many touches on the ball. You will not beat City. You have to move the ball quickly, sharply, fast, on the wings and get those shots on target. So I think with Man City, they know that. I think they are sure of the issues and the problems that a nervous can bring in they show that of what Moutinho's experience his his playmaking and his passing and creativity can bring but look man um Aguero is on sign Aguero is on sign I think Aguero wants a golden boot Aguero wants most a golden boot and I think what we're seeing right now and I think you know Pep has always preferred Jesus over Aguero but I think Pep is like you know what let me chill Jesus is still my my guy still love, love Jesus I've have got a goal scoring freak of nature in Aguero. Aguero is the second best striker the Premier League has ever seen. The the best obviously being Shera. Aguero is the second best striker of all time. I mean, no, so he's the second best striker in the Premier League. This guy's striking is frightening. Frightening. I don't want to hear about Hurricane. I don't want to hear about Lewandowski. I don't I don't want to hear about any of those other dudes. I want to hear about Bamiak. Aguero the only guy that can step to Aguero is Costa. That's it. The only guy that can step to Aguero, the only guy that can look Aguero in the face. The only guy that can look at Gary in the face is Costa. Nobody is allowed to look him in the eye. You can't. You can't do it. I don't care. You can't look at Gary in the eye if, unless your name is Deco Costa. So, um, I just feel that you know, one hundred percent. You know, the I mean, Mendy, Stones, Walker, they're gonna have to really be very wary of Ruben Neves getting the ball and whipping those balls in, whipping those early crosses in. Because I think, um, um, I think it's um. Nuno um, Santo Gomez or something, De Santo, the, the coach, who's also a coach for FC Porto and Valencia, very good coach. I think he will know that, look, man, we have to make good use of the ball. We've got to try and beat their defence. We've got to make risk. So I think Wolves have to play that riskier pass. We've got to have that ball. Ruben has to get that ball. And Jimenez, Hota, or whatever, they've got to get into that box quickly so Ruben Neves can quickly whip the ball in. So they've got to watch that. But I just I just feel that, you know, with the skill of Bernardo, of Bernardo Silva... David Silva and so forth. I just think that they will break that ass down too easily. I think they'll break that ass down too easily. And I think, especially in midfield, I don't think Wolves will be able to control the midfield. And I think the, the control of the game will come to City. City will come under pressure, but I think there'll be instances in which City will just focus on things. So, um. Three-one. Three-one. I think City win the three-one. I think Wolves will. Something tells me 3-2. Something tells me 3-2. I don't know why. 
I said 3 1 to begin with, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep it with 3 1. I'll keep it with 3 1. You know, but something's also with 3 2. But I, just, I think because I saw Stan Coleman put that in there, but I, I don't know. Um, copy same, but something tells me 3 2. But I'm, I'm gonna stick with, with 3 1. I think C C City win this 3 1. I just think that um, their, their key players will be too much. And Sergio Aguero is on something. Sergio Aguero is on something, and I don't think Wolves have the, the players to stop Aguero, who's on that crack, Cocaino. All right, 3-1 to City. Watch my post-match analysis after the game. Peace. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a half of Football Hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the Football Hot, for more analysis. Peace.